Yo, we are back at it again with another list, bro. Okay, like I'm about to say with this list and all the lists that we've done so far, we are right. We know what we're talking about, right, man? Yeah. Right, Molly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Right, yeah, 100%. 100%, bro. It, 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 if, you, if you're just molding it because of this, bro, because you lose to these ducks, I'm just sorry. You just don't know how to play these ducks right. You just suck, okay? All right. Or we don't know how to play them. You just don't know how to play these ducks right. I don't know. I haven't figured <laughs> that out yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, man? That's not part of the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, you're gonna get eaten alive. You literally are gonna get eaten alive, bro. Like, dude, like I said, kaijus are here more. Um, people are playing a lot of bestios unless you're gonna play three Eldritch. Um, yeah, um, play your Eldritch really well, Mikana, because to be honest with you, <coughs> you're gonna need it. Tritron. Um. Uh, like, I I hate this deck so much. Bro. I love this deck so much, and I hate this deck so much. I I love. The, uh, uh, I got turn skipped literally last time I played against it, and it was against. I mean, against Geek That's Kobo. really all it does, man. Bro, it's between these two. I'm gonna. <laughs> Is that it's like yeah, it's right in between the two of them. I'd I'd feel like the deck will again will randomly just like come out of nowhere and top a regional, but if it doesn't draw enough engine pieces, like it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's true. And it has no like almost no room for like good going second cards in the format. It's like you you play the heralds now you have two heralds, so I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, Herald of Orange. You have lands here. Um, Okay, um, Exo, um, Exo Step Brothers. Exo fell off, dude. Yeah. Like, it could even, yeah. it could even be borderline Arby's. Like, I don't know. Wanna get some Arby's from me, It can't though? do anything. It, like, you name every hand trap. Like, this is why I felt bad, like, I was telling Evan, cause, like, I got him hyped up on the deck, just, like, cause I like the deck. But I didn't, like, tell him how much it, like, sucks. <laughs> so he, like, got the cards. But I, told, I had to explain them, like, not only, like, Kaijus, Storms, Duster, even, like, Ash, Imper, Valor, Ogre. Like, you literally go down the list of any hand trap in the game, this deck can fold to it. Like, done. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Oopsie. To me, it's just not good. Oopsie. You can put it in Arby's, man, honestly. <laughs> you <laughs> know, if it, if it, it makes you feel better, I'll put, it, I, I'll put it top of uh, top of Arby's, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> Next one, um, flu. Who's a good deck? Okay, I scoffed. Deck is scary. You can put it in good deck, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put yeah, it. Flu's if you get caught lacking, and you're not prepared for it, dude. Empen in this format is actually really good. Yeah, people are not. People are so just not gonna respect it. Yeah, double Empen Ryza, and the fact that they can play Harpy's Feather Storm, like that card is fucking wild. Bro. Why is this card still here, right? Right, Konami? Yeah, okay. Anyways, <coughs> yeah, that's all we gotta say about this deck. Oh. It, it plays on both players' turns, but there's a better deck that plays on both players' turns that I don't know is better because Blue can play Deceptor and the other one can't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> Punk Gold Pride. Hmm. Um, pretty cool deck. It's unexplored, right? But then again, it even in the format prior, the, what was the last big event? Philly? Did it top? Or besides like the overseas event? Yeah, the YC, yeah. In North America, it was Philly. It yeah. performed. It did. I'm pretty sure I saw a few top, top 60, top 30 lists. So like, it could be a better deck. Because we're counting this new format, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can put it at the it's... bottom of better decks. Just <laughs> give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Let's just get it over with. That's. This. Yeah, that's... Yep. This is. Do the next one. Too. Really good right now. Just do the next one too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just talk about them both, but <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty. <laughs> okay. You gotta put it for... before Labyrinth. I'm sorry. <laughs> for, first of all, Labyrinth staying up here because, bro, what the hell? Okay. Here's the thing. Like, I low-key want to thank the meta for saying, hey, um, Labyrinth is not that good right now because, you know what? It didn't get hit. It didn't get hit. It climbed up there. Bro. 100%. Furniture cards right now literally just set whatever the hell you need. If you have everything, you just set field spell ball. Oh, my God. This this is so good. All right. Mm -hmm. You ever had Swedish meatballs from Ikea, bro? Bro. I'm about to. Like, That's what it feels like to f chew five gum, bro. That's also what it feels like to play fucking Ferns for Labyrinth. It is bait. <laughs> Yo, and Chaos Angel is just it's absurd, bro. Why the hell is this card said if this card is special summon, you can banish a card not once per turn? 
Oh yeah, just a special summon, so you can bring it off Muckracker, you can bring it off Field Spell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and if people, it's kind of silly. And if people got the money like that, you know, I, I'm kind of mad I didn't cop a second one. But if I had two fucking Chaos Angels, this deck can easily go for two, bro. It's just insane, bro. That's crazy. You just gotta finish school, man. Like you just gotta finish school and then get your job and then yeah, just secure all the cardboard. Yes, secure everything. Okay. And and another thing I just realized too. Big Welcome Labyrinth just needs a level 8 or a higher Fiend Monster on the board. Just have freaking Chaos Angel. You can bounce back anything your opponent has. It's just yeah. insane. Pretty cool. We love cardboard. <clears throat> what do we have next? Cashira, Cashira does go above Labyrinth, though, I will say. Cashira is still the best deck in the room. Okay. <clears throat> yes, quite scary. Without a doubt. All right. Um, basically, everything that Cashera was before was toxic. But um, if we we're taking out Diablosis now, Unicorns at two, you're not really being extra deck ripped that much anymore. So you know, it's still it toxic still in the sense that in the sense that like the cards, the way that the card design for every card in Cashera itself is written is mm -hmm. just toxic. You yeah. still have a walking macrocosmos, which is also a banished trident, which they also have Birth, Birth. Birth is the worst. Birth is a crazy card. That card's cracked. Which could have been him, but you know. <clears throat> Birth is like, ext it's extremely unfortunate <laughs> how powerful that card is. Literally. It's crazy. They just gain a lot of recursion, a lot of follow up. Like, you probably should have limited Birth, too. That's yeah. That was the only other hit that I think it would deserve. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, unicorn and birth for one. It's even crazy as an engine. Yeah. Like the Vanquish Soul stuff with the Cash Tier stuff. Oh yeah, how Vanquish impressive. Soul is playing uh, uh Fenrir Rise Heart and not even using Rise Heart effect, just using it as yeah. a, like a level four body for like <laughs> like four plays. It's gross. Interesting. And then Fenrir is an interruption in itself. Literally, yeah. everybody's playing Fenrir if you can just literally afford to just put in the card. 100%. Yeah, I, I stole mine before the ban list dropped. Now I'm upsetty spaghetti. I but it's okay. Just an insane pink, basically. It literally is, dude. Once you just plug in a uh, freaking, like, a uh, Fenrir, bro, like, literally... Dex that just needs the body on board is just doomed. Like, you, good luck. Yeah, it's like the best deals. Being able to have a body with that much presence is just, it's a lot. It literally is. All right. Uh, Manadium. Uh, Manadome? Yeah. Manadome's nuts. <laughs> Manadome's a better deck, dude. I like this deck. Yeah. I think if we put Gold Pride stuff up there, it, it's to me, it's on the same scale now until it gets its new stuff. But if Manadome goes, if you don't stop Man. It'll, even Tommy's shown me, like, if you don't stop this deck from popping off, you you lose. Like, you literally lose. Yeah, it makes some pretty big boards. It Yeah, it's very spicy. Mm. You, like, it's another one you need, you need Droll or Nib, or even, like, Dark Ruler, or you're cooked. Brutally. Yeah, literally. It's just, op it's, like, open Droll, or, like, if you just don't have the right hand, you might as well just scope. We got Marensas. Probably bad. Um, I think it's a good deck. Good. Cool. Yeah. I think the cyber decks are good right now. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> also even... this deck just um can just put up water bear um water berry statue now. <sighs> well, yeah. if they don't and they just do like field spells like build that whole board like it, it it's very breakable. Yeah, I feel it's like not a strong board. You just need. Pete, if you really will, just want to play this deck, you want to play Water Barrier Statue in here. Yeah, I think that's good, um, bro. Yeah, there's that. There's the Z Lantis stuff. Um, this also kind of ties in with uh, Math Mech. Math Mech got hit on the ban list, though. So now you play a lot more, like, at yeah. least from what I've seen and what people I've talked to have been saying, you play, like, more of the Firewall stuff that came out in Syac. Yeah, um, Circular is still, um, I mean, you still have, like, seven copies of Circular. We have three Sign and Mining. We have three, um, Small World as well. But, so, like, you still... There's more ways to search it, too. Yeah. Um, so, it, it, I think it's still a good deck. It's just on the lower end of it. It 
it's unexplored territory right now, but I think the deck still does some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I yeah, hate they're... Konami for this. Um, Pearly. We're going to talk about Pearly now. Pearly. Um, I'm very upset. <laughs> the hit on Delicious is very, very, very insane. Um, you have 33% chance of adding it to your hand off of happiness now, or ha happiness, the, the continuous spell, friend. Um, a lot less consistency to get into this. The deck is way better at going second now and going into the big happiness or playing the nimble package to get into um, plump, just like hard making plump with a rank two engine. Um, this deck fell off really hard. It's not going to see meta relevance in its like in its actual glory until the next set comes out. So what are we put in as right now? Uh, yeah, I was going to man, you fell off because like I feel like if I was going to play this deck right now, I would have to play it going second. Since we're talking about Hurley being hit because um literally he just got hit up because of a new set. Um yeah, let's just um let's just get super heavy samurai out of here. That's going in the same spot. Um, <laughs> bro. I mean, yeah, you still got a one card combo, but you got to play three extra garnets in your deck just to do so. And your board is basically Apple, Regulus, um, Barone. What deck? Unless they play, unless they play the Sword Soul stuff. But even then, it's it's just weird. Like okay, but like this deck can do that now, right? Um, what deck cannot do what this deck does, but better. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you were. Yeah, it's just not good. And you all, they also lost um Cyberstein as well, right? Which basically just got them into yeah. um Naturia Exterior. You can't do the FTK anymore. And definitely not. Rico and Avalon. This deck is awesome. <laughs> Sleeper. People are still Very underestimating good. tribute for cost, bro. Like, this, yeah, this deck is absolutely wild. I played it in the last regional, and the only reason why I lost is because I bricked, which hasn't happened in a very long time playing this deck, so I'm upset, as you'd imagine. But anyways, I wanted the casino, so it doesn't matter. Coming back off the tangent, this deck is either at the bottom of best of the best or at the top of better decks, I feel. And not because I'm biased about it. People don't respect this deck. And that's also not why it's good. The deck does a lot of stuff. It has a lot of play lines. If you get, like, people were playing Droll last format. And I was getting Drolled and still making Bengalance or Teardrop with, like, the Field Spell and the Trap set. Which is more than enough to play through, usually, what whatever your opponent has. Yeah, Dragon Link. This is a very good deck right now. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure, man. Yo, As somebody up. who tests like branded a lot, this deck is a very hard branded counter. Being able to make like, being able to make Barone Dispatter and um, uh, Chaos Angel and Borlo Savage Dragon actually, yeah. um, that's a lot. Problematic. Spheres is a really good card too. Exactly. And the Bist deals are really strong. Yeah, I think this deck is really good right now. Bro, okay. I think it goes in... It, I think it's a candidate for best, but probably top of better. Yeah, it's like right up there with Rika, I think. I think it's like fine to put it right above Rika. You're going to see more of it. Striker. Mm. Striker is a good deck. Yes. Um... Top of good or middle. I was saying in the middle. The the deck is very, very skill intensive at this point because the cards are five years old. Granted, they're very, very strong powerhouse cards, no matter what the card is. They just have to be yeah. like obviously played in the right scenarios at the right times, like mm -hmm. in the right order. Mm -hmm. Um the deck is really strong. Engage is a crazy card. Multi roll is a crazy card. <laughs> yeah, um, not being able to respond to your I think freaking this is soul cards. I think this deck is what I'm going to be playing at uh, Philadelphia. Not Philadelphia. Uh, Providence. Um, oh, dude. Hell yeah. It's just, Halu's is hard to bestials. 
And yeah. I feel like the deck is better at going second. Like, before, like, they interact whatever uh, with getting rid of your extra deck monster, they just activate a Bist to banish your Ray, and you're just, like, in a really hard spot. Runic variant. Um, somewhere, somewhere in better decks. Okay. First of all, I should have found some way to do this. Literally, Sprite Runic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but... If you're thinking about, if we're just talking about them separately, definitely like going to the better decks. Um, yeah. Fountain to two was literally a fucking joke. Yeah, it was a joke. <clears throat> Bro. Most of the just played two. I'm pretty sure Joshua Smith even only played two fountain in his Runic Sprite list. Yeah. 21. I only played two fountains. And I tested out two as well. Um, so you don't need more than that. All right, Sprite. A little slap on the wrist, but you know, it does right, everything. With, uh, Live turn, Runic right. Sprite, best deck. Yeah, it goes like right with Runic cards. Yeah, I'll put that right up there. It's Nate, use your sword, so your your children. Really, Danglong's a problem. So like, <laughs> someone Bro. the other day, I don't know how often they could do it. But in testing, someone put up um, Danglon with Yang with nine pillars set, uh, Chichao, the Sinister, and the Draco Berserker with Blackout <clears throat> set. I just had to scoop. Like, I don't know how often they can do that. It does mean they play into like Nib evenly a lot, but they also can negate with nine pillars with the evenly. So like, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. That's for sure. So I'd probably put it in maybe better, probably. Top of probably top, above the top of. I probably put it in top of good decks. Yeah. Top of good. I think it's above the gold pride. Hmm. Maybe we swap swap the gold prides out. Yeah, maybe we put the gold pride at the top of good decks and then put it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like right above mana dome. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Tier elements. It's such a gamble. It hits. When it rolls, it rolls. But I feel like in like bestial format and it being a very inconsistent I shouldn't say bestial format, but like with a lot of bestials heavily in the format. I think it's hard for the deck to play. Ghost Bell is around a lot. Sometimes this deck now even like it'll just fall to an ash and have shit mills and they gotta pass. Like could be very down bad. It's a good deck, I think. Yeah, it's a, it a good deck. I'm I think it kind of fell off with the fact that Bell is in the format and the Bistils are in the format. But yeah. it has started topping a lot more. You Like, I know in Springfield it topped. I think Jeremy Jones topped with it. Yeah, but that was the day before the list dropped. When this... Yeah, let's see here. I'm sorry, Gabe, I love you. Because Bell is just a card in here now. Bell's prominent. This deal and Bell go crazy. Okay. Trap Trick. Trap Trick's kind of fell off too, man. Dude, it did. Like, I just saw I just saw a literal deck profile of this deck. It just... It does nothing. <coughs> I am so sorry, bro. But, like, it, this <laughs> does nothing, bro. Bro, I really want to put this in Arby's, bro. Like, I really do. Try Brigade. Hypergate. Mm. This one's interesting. Most of the time I see it with Sprite now. Yeah. Which is pretty good. But I don't know how great it is. I don't know how it is by sure. I think it's, I think this is how to be just like us. This just goes with Sprite. Like if you're not yeah. playing if you're not playing Sprite with this, then I don't know what you're doing. So I don't know. I think it's kinda of like a I would say good deck, but it's probably if you're counting it by itself, straight up by itself, probably the Arby's. Arby's, bro. What is the next one? Dinosaurs. The the, the new support from Wall Survivors. Oh, the new dinos. Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen any. I haven't played against any. I haven't played it. Against... I don't even know what they do. Hey Matt, what did they do? So, um, these cards are interesting. 
Um, I don't know exactly what they do because I haven't exactly read them. From from what I've seen, they're pretty cool. Um, it does give the deck a little bit of a higher ceiling, and I don't think the deck is bad. I don't think the deck is that good either. Missy's still at one. You also have three um, fossil deck as well, so you know that's the thing. Not to say, not to say that the deck necessarily fell off, but I would put it probably in that category just because of like what the architecture of this list looks like right now. Hmm. Don't be mad. I swear to God, we don't, we don't don't know what this deck do. So like, I'm just gonna, we can't really say a lot about this. I deck. think it's pretty cool. Do I think it's necessarily going to be, like, a great deck? No. I don't think you're going to see that much of it. I think you're going to lose games to it if you don't read the cards. Um, yeah. And I think I'll have a better understanding of what the car what the deck actually does now once I read the new cards. But, like, I know there's a new pill that people aren't really even playing. So, I think it's really just, like, the Xeno stuff that they're playing out of the new set. Yeah, that's basically all I see that's been, like, that are, like, people are talking about, oh, we're going to put this in the deck. Like, that's all I see. All right. Vanquish Soul. Deck is really cool. This deck won the... This deck won Nationals, or did it get... I think it got second place. I don't know. It, it, second or second. It was second? Okay, um... I believe. A lot of people were talking the Italians. A lot of people were talking doo-doo about these cards, and I kind of just said people just didn't know what this deck did, so that just kind of like gave it somewhat of an advantage, but I have no idea other than that. Cards are pretty cool. Uh, their texts are very interesting. They don't do a whole lot, but they don't do a whole lot of nothing either. What's your win con? That's the thing. Like, that's the only thing I'm trying to figure out with this. <laughs> the fact that it bases around attributes and stuff, like, it, it can play Tikaboo, kind of. Um, you can play really interesting hand trap lineups. You can play, like, the Fenrir Cash, uh, the, the Cashier Fenrir Rice Heart package. Uh, you can play Bistials for the darks, uh, like Kurikara for the fire. <clears throat> so you you can just have it just has a lot of flex from just just play it kind of like whatever is format dependent yeah it's, it's an interesting deck very it's very mid range and i think it, <clears throat> i think it's a good deck i think it's okay. completely like on i think it's not completely explored over here though put it because okay. we don't know how to behave over in the tcg Oh, hell no, we don't. All right, all right, all right people. Um, um, I hope you enjoyed the tier list. If not, I don't care whatsoever. Um, we this is our opinion. This is our opinion. Like I said, once again, this is our opinion, right? Okay, so um, this is our tier list right over here. Obviously, you cannot mold about this. This is a new format. You don't know what the hell the format is going to be either, right? And literally, I don't want y'all down in the comments talking about, oh, your friend's opinion is wrong, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, I don't care, okay? I meet a corn Charlie. <laughs> bro. I... Okay. I mean, a puta madre, puñeta, cabrón. <laughs> All right, peace out, y'all. <laughs>